All right, well, good evening. Welcome to Christ Community. We are so thankful that you are here. Let me say a big hello to our normal Christ Community members and friends. So thankful to see you again. We had a great Sunday yesterday. And hello to all of our guests. If, if uh, this isn't your normal church home, we are so thankful you decided to come join us here. And maybe you don't have a church home. We're so thankful that you've stepped into our facility. We just hope tonight is a blessing to you. I know uh, Christmas season can be really busy for families and uh, every which way. We hope tonight just blesses you, and we hope that you will en uh, enjoy the evening as our musicians, as our members uh, just get to sing and have a good time. We invite you to sing with us and have fun as we celebrate the joy of Christmas together. It's the most wonderful time of the year with the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer it's the most wonderful time of the year it's the half happy season of all with those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call is the half happy season of all there'll be parties for hosting marshmallows for toasting and caroling out in the snow there'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of christmases long long ago it's the most wonderful time of the year There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago.
Cause we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow It doesn't show signs of stopping And I brought lots of corn for pop Together with you, sleigh ride together. 
On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. For calling Three birds, French, two and turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. My true love gave to me. Eight, 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 in a pear tree. On the ninth. No. no. On the eighth. Oh my no. gosh. On the seventh Dad, day of the house with my true love gave to me. Seven's on the swimming six. He's a lame five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. Here we come the boar's head. And there I be decked with bays and partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French heads, two turtle doves, and Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, a dreidel I shall play. Oh, dreidel. What? Dreidel. It's no, a Christmas no, concert. Oh, he did this last goodness. year. He did. He I did. can't believe I've done it again. It's okay. I'm it's so okay. Sorry. We'll get it next year. Let's we'll start. Yeah. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Do 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 Twelve drummers drumming like Olympus above the Serengeti. Ba, 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 Eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping. Nine ladies dancing, they were dancing for me. Ba, 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 Eight maids are milking, they were milking just for me. Ba, 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 I had Christmas down in Africa. 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 Gonna deck the halls and do the things we never had. Do 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 Partridge in a big pear
words have all been said The Christmas rushes through But I still have one wish to make A special one for you Merry Christmas, darling Okay, so my favorite Christmas memory is the first Christmas that Jeff and I were married. We were really, really broke and had no money, so we couldn't go see any of our parents. So we... Ah! <laughs> I freaking hate you! <laughs> hey, it's Christmas time, and our staff team at Crest Community does so much to help us execute this season so well, we thought we'd have a little fun with them by spreading some Christmas joy by scaring them. So I'm gonna hop in the box and we'll see how this goes. What's your favorite Christmas gift that you've ever received? Early on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Favorite Christmas movie, and why is it Elf? <laughs> it's definitely not Elf. Favorite Christmas movie of all time, probably going die. Ah! No! My gosh. <laughs> you? Y'all lucky. Don't I'm say it, y'all on camera. <laughs> don't say it. You're on camera. I'm lucky. I can't yadi. wait for this. I was practicing on the one here. You were practicing your answers? Yeah. What is your favorite Christmas song, and why? Drummer Boy, but... Justin Bieber edition. I don't really have an answer. Oh. Ah! oh my goodness! What in the world is wrong with y'all? Ronnie! Merry Christmas! Oh Merry my Christmas. Gosh. 
Hot chocolate or cider? Hot chocolate, every time. I love hot cider. I'll drink it all. Ah! <laughs> this is why you told people not to come down here. <laughs> I knew something was coming. Multicolored lights or white Christmas lights on a tree? Yeah. Why? White. Why? And there's a certain kind of white. Okay. You need a warm white. You don't want the cool white. You want the warm incandescent white light. You want classic homey Christmas. I agree. Now, if you go too heavy on the cool, it looks like a hospital. <laughs> it looks like you got it off of Timu. What it is not certainly is Christmas. Mm. And what we're not after is Christmas with uh, the cranks. So what's what's that one? What's the uh, what's? It's not Christmas with the cranks. It's a. Ah! I... <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction scared me. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> uh, favorite Christmas gift you've ever received? That's a hard one. As a kid, my favorite Christmas. Ah! Gift... Oh! My. <laughs> a star or an angel on the tree topper? An angel. Okay. But it has to be exactly to the description and uh, revelation. It has to have lots of eyes. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> hey there. Hey, Garrett. Mm -hmm. Look at the Christmas. I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna sit on it. Don't. There's nothing in this. <laughs> That's what it's what it's cool. A star or an angel on top of the tree? We put no tree topper. We just put lights and decorations and the tree's there. There's no topper on your Christmas tree. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you can jerk on that. I was supposed to get a haircut before this. Multicolored Christmas lights or white Christmas lights on your Christmas tree and why? For sure, multicolored lights because they're so much more fun. White Christmas lights on the Christmas tree because I'm an adult. I'm not a child. Hot chocolate or cider? Hot chocolate. No doubt. With a little whipped cream on top. Ah! Where are we? What was happening? All right, Marcy, what is your favorite Christmas movie and why? My favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. Ah!
The sons of earth toil under dark, rolling storms. The daughters of the land carry their own loads of strife. And out of the inky night, the shepherds guard the vulnerable that sit under their care and wait for dawn's helping hand. Then, without warning, a horizon is born. Not from beneath the earth, but from heaven above, bending every knee that witnesses it, flooding hard hearts with wonders of light and love, striking fear and awe into the bravest soul. It blinds those who see, it gives sight to those who don't. The good news of great joy streams from the mouths of angels. He has been born, Christ the Lord. So leaving the only security they know, the shepherds flee their fields, the magi leave their homes, all toward the light of hope they'd heard of all their lives with zeal flowing through their veins. And look into the eyes of the author of light and life. They touch the fingers of the hand that formed them and watch the breath of God appear in the world he made. The earth once hunched with despair, lifts her head and receives her king. And the men who God chose to tell, run through Bethlehem and sound the joy, shout the wonders of his love to all who hear. Your eternal king is born.
Seeing a lot about joy, about the uh, excitement of yes, Christmas time, about Christ coming to Earth, and uh, every season tends to bring presents and laughter and family. Uh, but at the same time, we'd be remiss if we didn't realize the fact that many of us are walking through this season for the first time without someone that you love. This year, we've had a lot of loss. Uh, Many people who we love are no longer here. Maybe you're here tonight and, and that, that touches you. Maybe you're walking into the holiday season without your family member or a dear friend or a spouse even or a son or a daughter. And maybe it's not just this year, but every year at this season, it, it brings up the reminder that they aren't with you any longer and it's always hard to go through this season. Um, the song is for you. It's a reminder that God is, yes, our mighty God. And he's our Prince of Peace, and He's also our wonderful Counselor, the one who is nearest and dearest to us in some of the hardest times of life. We hope this ministers to you. Cheers. 
husband, as a father, and I feel the weight of the burdens. And I, if I'm just being honest tonight, I, I, I can't seem to control everything that I want to control. Sometimes I feel like I have a hard time just being myself because so much on my shoulders sometimes. I know you feel that way with the job you carry, the weight of the finances, the weight of parenting, and man, Parenting is so heavy, and, and marriage, so much weight on us, and we're in the holiday season, and everything's rolling, and it seems like, man, we ever just catch a break? Maybe you feel like that tonight. So I asked that question, when was the last time you paused, and you just sat before the Lord and said, God, I'm bringing every bit of myself to you. 
bringing all of me, all of my burdens, all of my worry to you. When we talk about joy, joy of Christmas, we often forget most important things. Jesus came to defeat sin and death. To, to deal with our sin struggles, to deal with our worry and our anxiety and, and all the pressure and all the burdens. And tonight we've reflected on these things. We've sang about his coming and this incredible truth that God sent Jesus to forgive us of our sin, to mend the brokenness in our life, and to roll the burdens off of us. There's this peace that comes with knowing Christ. We talk about this this way, that true joy is found in the never-ending, never-quitting, never-giving-up love of God seen in Jesus. True joy is found in Christ our Savior, Christ the Lord. This is where true hope and true peace and true joy and true love is found. As Jesus grows up, as he grows among us, he says in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I love that Jesus came to, to take care of those who feel like they don't have it all together. I mean, that's me sometimes. I, I just feel like I don't, no matter what I do, I just don't have it together. I'm so thankful that Jesus came to save me. Maybe you're here tonight and you don't feel like you have it all together and you feel like no matter what you do, you just can't seem to get things on track. Well, I want you to know tonight that, that God sees you. I don't know what your burden is tonight. I don't know what you're going through. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's a financial situation. Maybe it's a health challenge. Maybe it's a parenting issue. Maybe it's job related. But I want you to know, if I could tell you one thing, I would tell you that God knows, that God sees you, and, and you're not alone, and He loves you. Like, like, I want you to know that you're known, that the creator of the universe created you in His image. And you might be here tonight, you might not be a church person, you might not be someone who considers yourself religious. Well, I'm glad you're here tonight, and I want you to know that my God knows you. And my God sees you. And I believe my God has you here tonight because he wants to know you more. He wants to change your life. The Bible says that God created us in his image and in a perfect place according to his design. But our forefather, Adam, rebelled against God. And we, when we depart God's design, we find ourselves in a place of brokenness. That departing of God's design is called sin. Sin is rebelling against God's ways, against God's word, and oftentimes when we find ourselves in brokenness, we try to hide it, but brokenness feels like shame, it feels like loneliness, it feels like weightiness, it feels exhausting. So what we do is we tend to try to fix our own brokenness, but the Bible says you can't get ourselves out of our own brokenness. No matter how much you try, you just tend to end up in more brokenness. The kind of change we need can't come from within ourselves. We can't muster ourselves up. We can't pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. The kind of change we need can only come through God's solution. And God's solution was sending Jesus to live a perfect life, to die substitutionary death on the cross for our sin. And he died on a cross bearing the weight of your sin and my sin. And three days later, he rose to life, showing he has power over death, power over sin, power over our burdens, and power to forgive us, and to set us free from the burdens, and to give us joy. The Bible says the way in which we are to, to receive him, this is the invitation of the song, come receive him, is by repenting, by turning from our sin, and believing the gospel. And when we put our faith in Jesus, we're able to recover and pursue God's design for our life. All the burdens roll away when we put our faith in Jesus. And maybe tonight you're a Christian and you forgot that. Maybe you haven't slowed down enough to remind yourself that you as a Christian are known. You're called. You're chosen. You're loved. 
you're forgiven, you're redeemed. And what a beautiful reminder this Christmas season. But for others of you, you don't know Christ, and I want you to know that you are loved, and you are known, and tonight you can know Him. You can receive Him by faith. Come to Him tonight. I'm going to invite you all right now, just bow your heads before the Lord, and if you're a Christian here, why don't you just take a moment to thank God for what you have in Jesus. Just thank Him. Thank Him for His blessings. Thank Him for all that you have. But also, bring your burden to Him right now. What is the one pressing burden on your heart, on your life, that's stealing joy from you? Why don't you just take a moment to bring it to Him? Others of you don't know Christ, but yet for some reason you feel like, man, that God would know me and God would love me, and that makes your heart joyful. Why don't you just pray? Maybe you're not used to praying, but why don't you just tonight try it? Why don't you pray something like, God, I don't know. This is all real. But tonight I'm opening my heart and opening my hands to the truth that you might be real. And Jesus might really have come to be a sacrifice for my sin. And tonight I'm open to what you want to do in me. Oh God, we thank you that in Christ we have forgiveness, that we have everlasting life. And I pray for those who are open tonight to trusting in Jesus. I pray that they would, that they would tonight receive you by faith. That they might put their faith in Christ. That you might reveal yourself to them. For the rest of us, Lord, we give you praise and glory in this season, in this moment. For the gifts of family and provision and the joy that we have in Jesus. May we behold him with a hope, with a joy, and a peace, and a love that only He can give. In your name we pray. Amen.
Amen, amen. Well, thank you guys so much for being here tonight. My name is Jeff Campbell. I'm one of the pastors here at Christ Community Church. We're just overjoyed that you would pick a cold, rainy Sunday night to come spend with us worshiping Jesus. That's what we love to do. But before you go, we have a kind of a special thing for you. Can we just give it up for our staff team, our production crew, all of our band, all of our singers one last time. Thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you. So before we go, we, we've been doing this uh, all week long. Um, and this is a special gift to you from us, uh, from our staff team, from our, from our cast. Uh, just a, a Christmas wish for you um, as we head out of here tonight. Of course. Come on, Walt. You're over here. You're in front of Jeff, Walt. Hang it up here, Walt. Let's go. Here we go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Is our sincere prayer from our family to yours that you would experience the love, hope, peace, and joy of Christ this Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Have an amazing night. You are dismissed.